Quite often I receive a question, when will I see the first results of HR team? And my answer is always the same. You will not see it, but feel. HRT is mainly for your brain and mental health. Everything else is a bonus. Hi, my name is Kira. I'm a transgender woman and counselor specializing in transgender care. In today's video, we'll look at the impact of hormone replacement therapy on brain functionality, its structures, and how it changes mental health. When we listen to stories of other transgender people who are sharing their experience of taking HRT, quite often they mention physical changes in the body. For transgender women, it's breast growth, fat redistribution, softening of the skin and hair, body hair reduction, loss of fertility, changes in reproductive system, and so on. More rarely we hear about getting rid of depression and anxiety, of raising self-esteem, and stopping social isolation. These body changes are perceived as the main goal of starting hormone replacement therapy. There is even a very popular thread on Reddit where trans women share their timelines of breast growth. I can understand and share the joy when the body transforms into the one matching our gender, but I wouldn't look at it as the main goal. I prefer to perceive it as a nice side effect, a bonus, a reward for the hard decision. The amount of that reward varies from person to person, depending on the age, health, nutrition, metabolism, lifestyle, sensitivity of hormone receptors, and so on. Some people may see immediate wonderful results of hormone replacement therapy. Some may see them in years, and unfortunately for some, they will remain discreet. What oftentimes is overlooked is the impact on brain and psyche. Gender incongruence impacts the mental health of people. Transitioning, medical and social, may improve it. To understand how HRT impacts our brain, first let's look why actually the brain needs hormones and what will happen if it doesn't receive them. The human brain doesn't only receive hormones, but also is being formed and regulated by them. They work as chemical messengers and help transmit signal in our body. Hormones are involved in every function and structure of the brain. Hormones such as estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, cortisol, and thyroid hormones bind to specific receptors distributed throughout the brain. These receptors are located in brain parts like hypothalamus, amygdala, hippocampus, and prefrontal cortex. These areas are responsible for emotions, memory, decision-making, and identity. Sex hormones like estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone are crucial during fetal and pubertal stages. They impact the size and the structure of certain brain regions, specifically hypothalamus. Any deviation of hormone levels beyond the norm may alter long-term brain structures and functions. The second important impact of hormones is on cognition and memory, how we think, learn, and memorize. Estrogen has neuroenhancing effects. It regulates neurotransmitters. Chemical messengers that allow neurons communicate with each other and with other cells of the body, like dopamine and serotonin. All of them are crucial in the process of learning and memory. This is one of the main reasons why women during menopause, when estrogen levels drop, may experience cognitive decline. Estrogen improves attention and verbal communication. The next function of hormones on the brain is neuroprotection, protecting from aging and trauma. Estrogen has an antioxidant effect and reduces inflammation. It also reduces the risk of neurological diseases like Alzheimer's. And the last main function is the impact on our sexuality, gender identity, and body perception. Yes, gender is a social and biological construct, and it has some scientific basis for it. Hormones impact four brain zones. Hypothalamus regulates libido and sexual response. Amygdala is involved in sexual and emotional arousal. Nucleus accumbens, part of the brain reward system, responsible for sexual pleasure and motivation and prefrontal cortex, responsible for sexual decision-making and self-perception. Because of the hormones, our libido changes, we respond differently to stimulation, and we feel attraction differently. Once we figure out why our brain needs hormones, let's look into the impact on behavior of two main sex hormones, estrogen and testosterone. Estrogen increases levels of serotonin and oxytocin, which reduces symptoms of depression and anxiety, makes social bonding stronger, and enhances mood. It also increases the activity of the brain regions responsible for empathy and sensitivity. This is why women are usually perceived more as empathetic and sensitive than men. On the other hand, testosterone increases competitive, risk-taking, and goal-oriented behavior. 
In peak doses, it can stimulate impulsivity in decision-making. Testosterone impacts the intensity and activity of libido and sexual thoughts. It boosts dopamine, which may lead to aggressive behaviors. So why do transgender people exist? Is it just a phase or an agenda that became fashionable nowadays? Actually, no. It has biological roots. Even before the birth, hormones shape our brain. Specifically, a surge of testosterone during weeks 8 to 24 during pregnancy impacts the development of brain regions responsible for gender identity. If the levels of testosterone are too low or the levels of estrogen are too high, then the brain in the fetus develops in a female pattern. It's worth mentioning that this process is not dependent on the development of genitals. Brain imaging studies show that even before starting HRT, brain region responsible for gender identity resembles the experienced gender, but not necessarily the one assigned at birth. White matter structures also align with the experienced gender rather than assigned sex. For transgender women, these brain structures are shifted more toward female pattern, and for trans men, toward male brain. I want to emphasize, more shifted, but not fully matched. And here we come to the core. How does HRT impact the brain of transgender people? Hormone replacement therapy shows its effect of changing the brain and body in a very short time. Usually it starts on the third month of the treatment and lasts for several years. For trans women, the changes are decreasing the brain volume, especially white matter. Cortical areas responsible for higher cognitive functions become thinner. The biggest impact is on the regions responsible for spatial tasks, like packing a suitcase, reading a blueprint, or navigating a map. Emotional centers improve, which leads to better emotional processing. The changes for transgender men are gray and white matter volume increase. Cortical thickening occurs, especially in motor and cognitive areas. Brain connectivity shifts towards pattern typical in cisgender men. We learn that brain structures physically change after starting HRT. The brain has an amazing function called neuroplasticity. The ability to change and adapt, particularly in response to changes in hormonal levels. But we can't visually see our brain unless we scan it with an MRI. So how do we actually feel the effects of HRT? There are three indicators that prove that changes have occurred. Behavior, cognition, and responses. These are the main goals of taking HRT for transgender people. The process of aligning hormonal levels with the gender the person identifies with improves their quality of life. It's not a cosmetic enhancement, but a life-saving tool. A 2025 study reports that 60% of those with suicidal thoughts no longer experience them, only after three months of taking HRT. 42% saw significant reduction in depression and anxiety. The mental and emotional shifts reflect these structural changes. Trans women often become more sensitive, calm, and empathetic. Emotions surface more easily, and crying, something that rarely occurred before transition, becomes a natural way of expressing feelings. Many transgender women experience reduction in sexual activity, which often returns later, in a different form, more essential and connected. Trans men tend to feel more assertive, sexually active, goal-oriented, and less emotionally reactive. These effects of HRT align with gender identity and oftentimes described as feeling like myself for the first time or finding inner peace. A large portion of visual changes, like fat redistribution, breast growth, or skin softening, can be approximated with surgery, cosmetic procedures, skin care, or training. But the feeling of inner peace is inexpressible and cannot be replaced by anything external. This is why HRT is not just for the body, it's profoundly for the brain. If you enjoyed watching this video and want to support my gender transition, please consider donating for my sex reassignment surgery. You will find the link in the description below. Thank you for being with me. Please subscribe, hit the like button, and see you soon. Bye.